Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we finally got the second beta of iOS 16.3. Now this is a really interesting update as I believe this is taking us backwards from the first beta. Now, of course, the first beta was released in December 2022. It has been quite a few weeks from now because of course the whole holiday season and all that we had to wait for the second beta, which is a really interesting update. But of course, it also brings some new features features and changes so let's go ahead and take a look at this update and see what's new and why I believe this is actually going backwards. First of all, let's take a quick look here at the size of the update. Now, this is of course way smaller than the first update. The second beta will come to your device at around 700 megabytes. That always will be different on different devices and will be different based on which software you have currently installed on your device. So if you're updating from iOS 16.2, let's say directly to the second beta of iOS 16.3, this will be way bigger. But if you have beta one, then you will get it at around 700 megabytes. Now, here's the interesting part about this update. Let's go ahead and take a look at the update here about let's tap right here and here we have all the details regarding the build number of this update and you can see right there the build number for beta 2 ends with an i now this is really interesting the first beta had a build number ending with an e which made me believe that we will probably see three max four different betas before the public release that way putting this update on release to the public early 2023 probably at the beginning of february but now apple has gone backwards and it ends with an i which means that we will most likely get way more betas for this update until it gets released to the public now what i believe we will see here is most likely six maybe even seven different betas before apple releases this to the public and that should put it somewhere around the first half of March, I believe the beginning of March will be the date when Apple releases iOS 16.3. That probably is just like a month later than I expected this to be released based on the build number of the first beta. The second beta, of course, has a few different changes and updates. So first of all, when you're playing something and you have it on the dynamic island, you will notice that the line, the outline of the dynamic island is now much softer. It used to be like a really thick line and of course it used to show the color a lot more it had not been made thinner with iOS 16.2 and now it's actually even softer so the color is much much softer right there is hard noticeable when you're playing something and you're on an app that has of course a dark background like this one there are quite a few changes here on the emergency and SOS section under the settings app first of all we have call withhold and release so previously how this worked you basically press and hold the side button and one of the volume buttons and while pressing and holding it will show the emergency and SOS and you keep it on just keep pressing there and it will count down and of course make the call now it will do that but you can see it says right here hold the side button and either of the volume buttons the countdown begins and the alarm sounds after the countdown if you release the buttons then the call is made so it won't make it won't make the call without you releasing the buttons once you release them it will automatically go into the call and right here we have another change on the wording here it says call with five button presses it used to say just call with five presses of course it's better to know what you have to press so they have placed the buttons right here on the call with five presses and then we have here call quietly now this used to be countdown sound you could enable or disable it now it's it says count quietly so basically it does the same same thing if you start an emergency and sos call using the gestures above warning alarms and flashes will be silenced so basically the same thing just a change in wording now here's another change with ios 16 Point 0.3 beta 2 so if you go to turn off the private relay i don't know if this is a change that apple made it intentionally or it's a bug so basically it will show you two options turn off until tomorrow or turn off private relay so once you tap there there is no going back because they have removed actually the cancel button i believe this to be a bug and hopefully we'll be back with the next beta 
Now these are some of the new features and changes that we got on iOS 16.3 beta 2. There are a few bugs that haven't been fixed that we have been able to confirm until now. One of them which is very serious is that the volume buttons are still not working on phone calls and FaceTime calls. Of course, not for everyone, but for a lot of users, when they're on a call, they won't be able to turn up or down the volume using the buttons. And also a very annoying bug is that the iPhones are not vibrating when ringing or receiving messages. So this is also a bug that has been reported by a lot of users and it's still here with the second beta. And now let's move on and take a look at the performance and see how it compares with the first beta. So here we have the Geekbench scores for iOS 16.3 beta 2. So here we have the latest one, iOS 16.3 beta 2. The single core score is at 1886. While we have the previous one right here, this one, iOS 16.3 beta 1, 1881, just a slight increase there. While we have here the multi core score at 5518, but on beta 1, it was actually 5,556, so we have a slight decrease there. So basically, this is a newly installed update, so we will have to make another test in a few days to see how it will actually perform. It should be a bit better than this. At the beginning of the video, we talked about the new build number ending with an I, which leads me to believe that we will see a lot more betas for this update. Now, I would expect Apple to actually release probably another four betas before releasing the RC version and then, of course, the public release, which basically puts the next update probably next week. Now, at the beginning of the new betas that Apple releases for major updates, they tend to go on a two-week schedule, but due to the whole holidays that we had and all the time that they had, probably they will go on a one-week schedule from now on, so you can expect the next beta to come probably the next Tuesday, that would be January 17th. So what I would expect Apple to do is maybe release that next week or just go on a two-week schedule for the third beta and then move on to a one-week schedule from beta 4 and on. So again, I would expect them to actually release another four betas before releasing the RC version and then of course the public release which I would expect to be somewhere here either at the end of February or the first week of March. These are the dates that I'm expecting Apple to release iOS 16.3 to the public. And last but not least, we're talking about iOS 16.2.1, which is an update that we're expecting Apple to release, and it actually is very much needed. iOS 16.2 has a lot of bugs. There is the bug, or basically the problem, with the new HomeKit Air architecture, which made actually Apple pull that feature, which was initially released with iOS 16.2. And there are a lot of other bugs, like the screen flickering on the iPhone 14 Pros, which is very serious. So we need that update and taking a look at iOS 16.3 beta 2 and the build numbers and all the schedules that we talked about we will probably not get an update for at least another five or six weeks so we really need iOS 16.2.1 now I would expect Apple to actually release that update this week maybe even today or tomorrow but if they don't probably the beginning of the next week Maybe it will be Monday, January 16th or 17th. These are the two dates that would actually expect Apple to release a new software update for the public, that being iOS 16.2.1. So that is basically it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to be updated with the latest iOS 16 news. And of course, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you on the next one.